I'd expected a huge change in workload. Um, not quite the one I got. <laughs> it was insane to begin with, but you get your head around it. You really don't know about most of the careers to begin with anyway. Yeah, I mean, like, you have no idea what you can study. Um, and that was one of the greatest things about Health Sciences first year. It opens you up to everything. You're studying literally everything, the groundwork on all science in essence. Um, and you can head in any direction. And yeah, it's a good way to dabble and, you know. Ah, oh, time management. Get your head around that, like, now. <laughs> you need to get time management down, because with the workload, you're going to have to have it. The halls aren't the only option. You don't need to freak out about put, you know, filling in your halls forms, because to be honest, for some people, the halls just aren't right. And in hindsight, I think that if I'd gone to a hall, I would have been very unhappy. One of the main things that I wish I had known is the importance of time management, because in high school, believe it or not, you're still quite spoon-fed, you know? Everything is still quite easy, especially compared to something like university. So time management is definitely something I wish I had known a bit more about. Oh, I kind of did know this, but don't procrastinate. It's really, really bad. Don't leave anything till the last minute. Study afterwards as well, and just try to manage your time. Uh, don't complain about the workload. Uh, the amount of work if we get over here is a lot less than what we would get at uni. So yeah, just don't complain about the workload here and because you're going to get a lot more. I think I would have liked to know that uh, I need to review what I've learned in the day, at the end of the day, so writing notes, looking back at what I've learned, looking back at what I've learned, and uh, not leaving my work last minute because you need to do your work and you can't get away with it. At uni, you have to do your work on time. I think the main thing for me was if if you revise constantly what you learn throughout the year, then your exams at the end of the year won't be as difficult as they made out to be. To be able to not just keep up with the work, but try and get ahead, because getting ahead kind of helps for the exams at the end of the year. APA referencing is a good one because you need that for every assignment, and it's really hard. Like, you finish an assignment, you'll be like, yeah, finished, and then you're like, oh no, got to do my referencing. And it's not just like copy and paste your little thingy majigs, it's you have to reference it in order and by date and by title and whatnot. I wish I'd known how to manage my money because it's, it's tricky. I, I waste my money. I do blow it on extra things. <laughs> but I, could, I should be spending it on things I need. So like if I run out of toothpaste and like toiletries and stuff, but I want to come up to Auckland for the weekend, I have to decide, like, am I going to come up to Auckland and spend the money on fuel, or am I going to get what I need and buy my toothpaste and my shampoo and conditioner and so forth. First off, I don't think I am like... Everyone thinks they're so grown up. Like, they're like, yeah, I can do this. I'm so independent and stuff. And then it comes down to it and I'm like, I miss my parents and I miss... I miss like getting my laundry done for me and like, things like that. Um, and also money, yeah, money is like the biggest struggle at the moment. Um, but yeah, just, yeah, um, I wish that I've gone get advice earlier for like how to budget stuff and um, like it's not like NCA where it's like um, you can just drop out of like something, not do it and like you'd still be passing, like you have to do everything at uni. You, you can miss out on like one small um, thing that doesn't even count as your final grade, but you can still fail not even doing it. 